Okay, here we are again, uh, doing a bit more maintenance on the swordman. Uh, I wasn't expecting to pull the reel out so quickly, so just remember when you're pulling the reel out, undo the height adjuster or retaining bolt, uh, raise the height adjuster to the highest setting, take the cover off, undo the bolts on the left hand side and the right hand side, as I'm showing now. Sometimes they uh, come loose as well, so check them before each mow as well. Make sure you put the bolts somewhere safe. I always put them in the, the cover as my retaining spot. Then undo the pulley tensioner and take the belt off the pulley. Then the reel should just pull straight out. Okay, I didn't expect to do, be doing a follow-up video so soon, but knowing today, and you can see that the uh, rear roller has I've seen this problem on a few times described, so I reckon it's the diff. Um, see if I can pull it apart. Um, obviously, there's the rear drive cog in the way, so I have to get that off. Looks like there's three bolts down the back there holding the rear roller on, including the carpet. Three bolts on the other side. It doesn't look too complicated, but since it's New Year's Eve, the first thing is to have a beer and have a think about how we're going to do this. But anyway, I'll see you in a minute. First thing, how does this work on the pulley? Okay, it's a bottom and bottom pulley. So that's probably the adjuster down there. Just have to get that off first. And then we'll have a look. 10 mil. And give it a crack. Always good taking videos to see what comes off where. No. Big washer, little washer. Looks like a roller or something there. Oh, little bearing. Two little bearings. Oh, that's giving me enough play to get this off. Should do. There we go. Step one done. Two bolts there. An Allen key, a five mil Allen key. One of the good features of the Swordman, the magnetic holder. One of the bad features of the Swordman, not too reliable. Pardon the lack of trace skills here, normally I shine a seat with my bum, uh, but just like to get in the garage and uh, keep my hands dirty and try a few things. Shouldn't have to do, undo them all the way.
Okay, challenge already to get that pulley off. Oh, it's actually moving. I don't know if you can see that. That's actually moving by itself. Oh, there we go. It's fantastic. This pulley's moving by itself, but as a tip, just put a bit of grease in the shaft to make sure it doesn't lock up next time. So you can pull it off easily. I was going to give it a hit with the ox. I started moving by itself. Happy days. That was all too easy. I was getting ready for the gear pulls. We haven't got one of these. They're the best thing since sliced bread. That's on there. A little bit goes in the shaft. Balls go around and just start turning and it pulls the gear out. Just got to be careful, this is an aluminium gear, so it'll probably break if you put too much force in it. Let's have a go at these. Uh... Next couple of minutes is just me trying to undo these uh, six bolts holding the rear roller on, on the left side and the right hand side, so it's pretty boring stuff. Uh, it's going to be a bit of trial and error. I uh, got the, that um, wiper band for the uh, rear roller slack. And I think the way is just to lift up the right hand side of the mower and then feed out the roller from that side, so we'll give that a crack. be pleased to know that whole process took about one beer so we're now on to stage two or beer two so the good news is that this is the differential inside the, um, the rear roller that's all we can find I can spin the rear roller it's a bit hard to do with only a camera on my knees I can go around there quite easily. But as my 14 year old son, who's got absolutely zero mechanical knowledge, why would you make that out of plastic? And that has just popped off there. And the plastic has just come off. So we're talking about a nail that cost a couple of thousand bucks. It's been held together by a plastic band which would cost five cents that is the most ridiculous piece of engineering or lack of engineering i've ever seen the swordman need to get your act together on that rapidly I'm not happy jen as you can see a three or four thousand dollar mower has only been held together by a piece of plastic uh, so that's really poor engineering Hopefully Swordman will get uh, a replacement part to be very quick on this, that'll be a bit more durable.